Alrighty, time to upload the uh, Kirikin update video. What? What? Congratulations, your account is now enabled for uploads longer than 15 minutes. Click the upload button and now select a video. Whoa! Oh my god! That's awesome! I thought partners... I thought it was only partners that could get that. Okay, we're gonna have some longer episodes of Earthbound now. Last time on Earthbound! Um, I just brand got a brand new headset, so we should have some new high quality audio is so the case, so I just invented the machine that opens doors, especially when you have a slightly bad key. Sorry for the inconvenience. Well, that was a quick invention. Bad key machine. If you are Dr. Ando Nuts' son, you should be able to repair small tools and make them useful. Just try to keep a positive attitude. Oh, Godzilla was hopping around Tokyo City like a big playground when suddenly Batman burst from the shade and hit Godzilla with a back grenade. Godzilla got pissed and began to attack, but didn't expect to be blocked by Shaq, who proceeded to open up a can of Shaq food. When Aaron Carter came out of the blue, when he started beating up Shaquille O'Neal, then they both got flattened by the Batmobile before he could make it back to the Batcave. Abraham Lincoln popped out of his grave and took an AK-47 out from under his hat and blew Batman away with a rat a tat tat but he ran out of bullets and he ran away. And then Optimus Prime came to save the day. This is the ultimate showdown of ultimate destiny. Good guys, bad guys, and explosions. As far as the eye can see, and only one will survive. I wonder who it will be this is the ultimate showdown of ultimate destiny hey everybody welcome to episode 10 of let's play earthbound and i am of course way too obese because i am once again on my own so let's get rid of this pop gun real quick so we can grab this hamburger yay hoorah for um fattening foods and oh dear time warpio mwahaha haven't seen time warpio in a while have we <coughs> time warpio again really for the same group of enemies what is this crap uh, level up. Offense 1, defense 2, guts 2, vitality 1, IQ 1, luck up by 1, and 11 hit points. That's not bad at all. So I'm ready for this episode. I got my McDonald's sweet tea and my time warpio set on hotkey number 1. I just made that up. <clears throat> so in this episode, hopefully we'll be able to, uh, we'll, we'll definitely get back to 3 And, uh, I'm gonna waste a bunch of you guys' time trying to avoid enemies here. Hope you don't get mad at me. Um, we're gonna go to Threed, we're probably gonna do a little bit more storyline advancement in Threed, and we'll cut it off there. And this video will be a little bit longer than my normal videos, because as the intro stated, um, that was annoying, Time Warpio. Um, I can upload videos longer than 15 minutes now, I don't know, I guess supposedly if you have a good record copyright wise and blah blah blah, they'll enable that on your account, so I'll be able to make longer episodes now, and that'll be great. I'm gonna eat the spoiled egg. I'm gonna get rid of the protractor and the ruler because they don't really do a whole lot. So goodbye. Nobody likes you. Get out of my inventory. Cheap bracelet, even though we're gonna get a better one right when we get to freed. Oh well. Same with our weapon and stuff. And sadly, we will not keep the bubble monkey. He will part ways with us as soon as he finds a woman. Uh, and I'm going to waste more of you guys' time just trying to get rid of these stupid shrooms. Oh, this is bothersome. I'm having that jump in my recording again. I don't know why it's doing that. It's weird. I really wish it would not do that. Bottle rocket. All right, Jay. Let me explain bottle rockets real quick. Uh, how do I? How do I get that rope up there? Do I need to go back up here? Bottle rockets can only be used by Jeff, and they're basically just a one-use offensive item, just like the bomb. Except anybody can use bombs. Uh, bottle rockets are specific only to Jeff. There's a bottle rocket, a big bottle rocket, and a multi-bottle rocket. Multi-bottle rockets will hit like 600. They're extremely powerful. The bottle rockets I have right now hit about 100. And the big bottle brought rocket, I don't know how hard that'll hit. What do I... Where, I don't... Yes, the prison is empty. Is there a door over here? Where the hell am I supposed to go? I don't understand. Wait, maybe... Oh, smart, Kira. You've played this game before. You should know this. Gotta give the bubble monkey some gum so he can fly up there. Can't believe I completely forgot about that. Ah, I feel so silly. So silly for wasting all your time. I apologize, you can punch me in the face now. And dang it, I'm so tired of enemies, I don't want to freaking get mushroomized, that would suck. And that's the, uh, I, is that the f fifth? Fourth? One of your sanctuary bosses is right there, but I can't fight him until I have Ness with me. If I talk to him, he'll be like, you're not the right person, go to hell. Kyokuki, now she's my type. Kyokuki, I think I'll ask her for a date. And just like that, I just got ditched. Hey man, what happened to bros before hoes? That's actually a stupid mantra. Don't ever listen to that crap. 
to hang out with girls just as much as you hang out with guys, damn it. And I do not want to fight those people right now because I am moderately weak. Those are cave boys. They are not fun. And this one wants to fight me anyway. What do you got to say, fat old man? You kids don't look very bright. Kids? Let me explain. These stones are making a pattern. It's called Stonehenge. I want to see one kid here. UFOs often visit here. You must have seen it on the TV, on TV or read about it in the tabloids. Yes, that's Stonehenge. That guy really needs to get some education because I only see one child here. Unless Jeff can, like, clone himself. Are you Naruto, Jeff? I don't even watch Naruto. <laughs> My brother does. Mr. Brickroad, the dungeon maker, referred to you, right? And not only that... What? Who? My son? Oh, I can't... I can't believe it. You're Jeff, my son. It's been ten, maybe ten years since I last saw you. I'm so glad you're such a healthy boy. Uh, those glasses look good on you. How about a donut? Well, I was only offering. I'd also like a donut right about now. Have you already checked out Stonehenge? Yeah. Well, at least I asked. Mm-hmm. Okay. By the way, where are you here? Oh, I see. That girl named Paula must have sensed I was here. Okay, I'll try to help you out. I'm trying to make a phase distorter that can connect two points in space and time. It's still incomplete. I'll let you use another invention I call the Skyrunner. It's a little bit old, but it'll certainly help. When you board, always listen for the message that comes f that comes from your destination. You'll get there for sure if you listen to the message. The round machine over there is the Skyrunner. What do you think? Is it neat? Get in. Let's get together again in ten years or so. It's gonna be a bit sooner than ten years, old man. And I don't need to rest right now. I'm okay on hit points. So, neat little cutscene right here. So this is the Skyrunner, and we're gonna go for a ride on it, cause we're awesome, then we are gonna go to three, find our friends and stuff and stuff, and we will get there, we will happy, we will happy, we will happy, 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 so we are on our way and having fun, and this game is cool, and I don't know why I'm singing, I'm completely improvising, do 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 are you guys having fun with this music, uh oh, do 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 my game is still jumping with the recording, and I don't know why, oh well, I'll just deal with it, and this is foresight, I guess it's modeled after New York, I don't really know, but I think that's what it is, and it's the next time we're gonna go to, but not until we go up here and ride the sky runner. Do 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 do. I need to catch my breath. I can't breathe. Oh well. Now ah, we're in Scarabah Desert. There's stuff to do here. That's where we're gonna go up three, but we still gotta do seven three first. Oh, I'm running out of breath. Take a drink. Keep going. So we're on the sky runner. We just saw four side in Scarabah Desert. In the desert, we're gonna learn teleportation. Do 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 do. Now we're in three. Do do do. That guy looks kind of funny. Circus do little boy. Welcome to the circus. Do do do. We are looking for our friends because they got attacked by the undead, and that's not very cool. Do do beep do 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 do. Of course they have us buried under the cemetery. Never mind, this thing is going in circles. Where are we going? I don't know. Oh well. Do 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 do. That's a pink house. Wait, that was a building like a shop or something. Do 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 do. I knew it. We were in the cemetery. Do 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 do. Ah, oh, Jeff, what are you doing? <laughs> Boom! Sudden end to song. Again, shoot me if I bother you with my stupid singing. <coughs> I just, like, burped and hiccuped and tried to breathe at the same time, so I couldn't read what he said. <coughs> and I need a drink. Oh, that was ridiculous. I'm not very strong, really nearsighted, kind of shy, and I tend to be a little reckless. This is just the way I am. I hope you want me to be your friend, okay? No. So why did you call me? Are you just making fun of me? This is just the way I am. I hope you want me to be your friend, okay? Alright, let's get back to the journey then. You got a new friend. That was wrong, oh well. Jeff joined you. Okay, now we will not be as obese. But, let's see. There's nothing we should do. Alrighty. The door is locked. The door is locked. Oh, I gotta use the bed key machine. Bed key machine. Woo! -hoo! The door opened. Yay! Alrighty then. Now we got a couple things to do in three before I will end this episode. And wow, we're only ten minutes in. It feels like it's been longer. Maybe singing makes my sense of time be distorted. And I totally just like pulled the hair out of my eyeball, and that kind of hurt. And wow, Jeff's only level nine. Paula's level fourteen. Oh well. Ookie dookie. So we gotta go. Let's find the guy that has stuff for Jeff first. Where is he at? He's buying the drugstore. Where's the drugstore at? There's the hotel, the bus stop. Isn't this where the Runaway 5 dropped us off? No, that wasn't it. Crap, where am I? I don't get it. I don't know where I'm going. Damn it. 
Welcome to the Zergles. Welcome to the jungle. I don't know the words exactly. Oh, okay, now there he is. Shh, don't talk too loud. What do you want? I've got what you need. A toy air gun. Oh no. Might shoot me with a plastic BB. The stun gun, I'd say about 75. Take it or leave it. Excellent. Glad we could order something else. Will it be this? will there be something else? What is it now? I've got what you need. And let's buy a couple bottle rockets for Jeff so we can use them. I guess only one bottle rocket. Okay then. Now we can go... Well, no, let's go equip Jeff in the drugstore before we do what I want to do. Um, there's some more gear we can get for him in the drugstore before we go to our new f boss fight. Please select a transaction. Your account currently shows a balance of $1,768. Please select your the amount for your withdrawal. Your account has been debited. Please take your cash. That's what ATMs are going to be like in the future. And... Shiz. I'm going to... Um... I'm going to cut it and... Yeah. Got rid of some crap for Jeff with the Escargo Express. So he has room for his new gear. The Holmes hat for $29. Oh no! And the copper bracelet. I don't even know why they gave us the cheap bracelet. I mean, they knew we were going to go get a copper bracelet. Maybe they were assuming we didn't have enough money or something. I don't know. I feel like I'm talking in a monotone. I need to, like... I need to enunciate to the back row! There's a zombie dog right there. Crap. Okay, fight time. Okay, so the zombie dog is 210 points. He can use a biting attack, which is low level attack. He can let out a piercing howl, which does nothing. He can bite using poisonous fangs with a chance to poison you, and he has a 4 probability of dropping a bottle rocket. Which would be nice, but I doubt we're gonna get that because percentage wise. What would that be? Uh, I don't know, like a 4% chance. Not even. I don't know what I'm talking about. Don't ask me. Oh, Jeff, why must you have such crappy level ups? Alright, are we ready? F I should give this to Jeff. Alright. Are we ready for this fight? I guess so. That's a neat face. Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. The boogie tent. So the boogie tent has 579 hit points, it has 56 sight points, and it can use a normal attack, it can use a defense spray, which raises its defense, it can spew fly honey at you, which will immobilize you, and it can emit a, and it can emit a pale green light that cancels off sight effects. It can also use sight flash alpha. And it doesn't have any probability of dropping anything, so that's kind of annoying. Basically, you just beat the crap out of it, and... Shield Jeff, I guess. No, I don't know. It doesn't... It doesn't protect against physical attack, that's annoying. And he just tried to spit fly honey on the teddy bear. Teddy bears are actually pretty useful. I believe you actually get a deluxe teddy bear or something later on. And, oh, it's weak against sci-fi, or I already knew that, but yeah. Alrighty, so, use sci-fi, and Jeff, throw another bottle rocket at it. It's really not a hard fight. I mean, it can hit, like, 60s and stuff, like you already saw it do on the teddy bear, but... Nothing you can't heal from. And it's raising his defense. I mean, how hard would it be to beat up a tent with a baseball bat and an airsoft gun and fire? <laughs> I don't want to use a bit of big bottle rocket yet. Save it for a bigger boss. This one's really not that bad. The boogie tent was defeated. Defeated something. 1,834 experience. Woohoo. Okay. Uh, two IQ. That's good. Ooh, one hit point. Ooh, ten side. That's good. And magnet alpha. One offense, one guts, one hit point, ew. Two offense, two defense, two speed, two vitality, three IQ, two luck, 24 hit points. Jesus, Jeff. You want steroids, brah? What the hell? Okay. Now there's a garbage can and a couple of zombies. Alright, so this is actually a moderately useful item. There's a jar of fly honey. And that's useful later on, so just keep a hold of it. And I don't want to fight those Pinocchio thingies. Now that we have done that... Um, crap. Okay, I was gonna cut right here and go to the hotel, but then something happened, so I was like, no, I will not cut, never mind, I will. I will no cut. No bueno. Hello, this is the Apple Kid. I just wanted to let you know that I finished a pretty unique invention. I'm not sure if it'll help you or not. It's called zombie paper, and it can be used to trap zombies. It works kind of like flypaper. All you need to do is place the paper on the floor of a tent or something. You've seen at least one tent around, right? And then the zombies get stuck to the paper when they move around inside the tent. You can catch a lot of zombies this way. In fact, I bet you can get rid of all the zombies that are terrorizing the area with this paper. 
Anyway, I just asked the mock pizza delivery man to deliver the zombie paper to you, Ness. You should get it pretty soon. I've never actually seen a zombie or something. Any zombie people or paper would be useful. I'll call you. Be calling you if I come up with anything else. And another phone call immediately. Dad, blah blah blah. Been out here for too long. No, I don't want to take a break. Fade the world being at stake. Yep, beep. All right, run around a bit. Wait for the mock pizza guy. Come on. I need your pizza zombie fly paper or something. I'm delivering pizza, this weird guy asked me to help him out. He asked me to deliver this to somebody named Ness who was walking around three. No one knows about else knows about this, right? Let's just pretend that you're Ness and I'll give this to you. Oh, hello Ness. Just go along with me on this one, okay? I mean the decision that you're Ness no matter what. Alright. That's right, Ness. Wink wink. I've done my duty and given you Apple Kids thingamajig. Well, goodbye. It's a good thing that we did. I am Ness, and that I gave it to the right person. He can give a zombie or something some paper. Alright, let's use the uh, hotel real quick. And let's go use our zombie paper. Working through the night, Jeff fixed the broken iron. After being fixed, the broken iron became the slime generator. That's funny, it's spelled just like generator. Uh, it's actually a pretty useful weapon. I don't actually think you can break it, but... Sir, you're working hard even though you're young. The guest newspapers that were delivered to the hotel today are different than normal. The paper is called the Zombie Herald. I'm scared, but let me tell you what's in it. Boogie Tent Falls, Young Human to Blame. Uh, the Slime Generator immobilizes my enemies. Boy, I had a red cap. Hey, it was you. Oh, he saw us get mugged. He didn't help, you bastard. Just watch us get attacked by undead and be like, oh, that sucks. So, do I get a tip or what? Okay, so we go into the circus tent over here, and these guys run in like, Oh god, their kids are here, run away! And... we need to talk to somebody? We should try the zombie paper or some kind of trap, we have to do something. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I have to use it. Paula! Zombie paper. Just imagine when we wake up tomorrow morning, ugh, it'll be really gross. So I used the hotel for nothing, because I just gotta go use it again. Awesome, that was $360 that I just wasted. Well... 180, because I actually did need to rest once. Alright, rest, blah blah blah, three sunset hotel one night, $180. Hotels are freaking expensive. Oh, I've never actually stayed in a hotel before. Nor have I been on a plane, or an actual boat. Uh, I've never ridden a moped, or a motorcycle, or... I don't know, a motor scooter? Like those Razor scooters, except with a motor on it. It would actually be kind of fun, I think. Go around putting around 20 miles an hour. I don't know what the hell I'm rambling on about. Do not ask me. So, now that we have done that, we can go over to that circus tent, and there will be zombies stuck to the floor everywhere, because it's zombie paper, motherfucker! I have an odd urge to put Thriller into this, but I won't, because I don't want Michael Jackson coming back from the grave to eat me. Yuck, we got a lot of zombies! Ugh, it's really gross! all just standing outside looking at the zombies. Oh my god! At least one guy, one guy's brave, brave enough. I'll blame you after my death. I'll blame you for the rest of my life. If I try to get away, my body will just fall apart. It's because I'm a zombie. No duh. <laughs> what are you, a fish? Could you help me? Maybe not. Okay then, I will not help you. I will leave you there to die, Mr. Zombie. So, now that we've captured all the zombies in three, those two zombies that were guarding that ladder thingy uh, up here by the cemetery are gone, so now we can go down there, and that's the next area of the game we're supposed to head to. But, uh... Oh, I lied! Scaraba Desert is not where we go next. We go to Saturn Valley and stuff. And wow. Alright, time for a couple new enemies. We got the No Good Fly and the Putrid Moldy Man. The No Good Fly has 100 hit points and can use a normal attack. He can say something nasty to lower your guts, and it has a four probability of dropping a boiled egg. And the Putrid Mold Man has 203 hit points. He can scatter mold spores, which makes the target start crying. He has a normal attack, and he has a 4 probability of dropping a croissant. I don't know why they make the probability for stuff so low. It's annoying. You never get anything from him, really. Okie doke. So, I will get up here, and it's already pretty been a pretty long episode, so I think I'll cut it up here, and I will see you guys in episode 11 of Let's Play Earthbound.